Okay, so just continuing on from my previous video of simplifying square roots. I've got this question of square root uh, of 175, and we know that um, it's going to be in multiples of 25. So if we break that further, we know it's 25 multiplied by uh, 7. 25 can be again pulled down to 5 multiplied by 5 by 7 and seeing a number twice under the radical we can pull it out once leaving just 7 under the square root So a slightly different one. Uh, we're gonna go uh, 10 already outside the square root with 96 inside the square root. Now in my previous video, I mentioned that you can put 10 back inside the square root and it, that would become 10 times 10 times 96. However, it's just going to produce a really big number. So it's best that 10 just stays out. So when we pull 96 down to its primes, we leave 10 outside the square root and uh, find the multiples, which I have to 4 times 4 times 6. And because we've got two numbers of the same, we can take 4 out once, leaving 10 being multiplied by 4 with 6 remaining under the square root. Now you can pull 6 further down into 3 and 2. Uh, 3 multiplied by 2, however, it's just not going to get you anywhere, so it's just to best to continue uh, working with this and leaving 6 inside the square root, leaving 40 outside the square root with 6 inside the square root, so that would be your answer. Uh, moving again in a different direction. I'm going to do square root of 6 over the square root of 8. I'll work horizontally. And we know that 6, uh, as mentioned before, we can pull, uh, break that down to 3 multiplied by 2. And 8, well, we know that uh, 8 can be broken down to 2 times 2 times 2 and just a, it's just a matter of cancelling from here so only 1 2 can cancel leaving uh, 3 over 4 I probably yeah I probably did a bit more work than I should have but at least you can see the use of the index law uh, and how it works so it would be 3 over 2. Uh, okay. So I'll do another one. Uh, square root of 12 over square root of 4. Uh, immediately we can jump into that being 2, however, I'm not going to, just for the sake of this exercise. Uh, I'll break 12 down first, and that leaves 3 with 4, and the denominator stays as is. And as mentioned, that's exactly why I wanted it uh, the same, and the 4s would just cancel leaving square root of 3 over 1 as our answer.
have so. Okay, slightly more difficult question. So you got two outside the square root of three and four outside the square root of 27. Um, two over four can be simplified uh, to half. So just be square root and put that two outside 27. And then 27 gets worked down even further into Three multiplied by three multiplied by three and as I mentioned before you can only take uh, one one number out if you see it twice so now that you see it three times you can't pull all three out you can only pull out pull the three out once so that two will be multiplied by three uh, that's not quite the answer, so I'll work here. That will be 6 over square root 3, and then that becomes 1 over 6. After the square roots of 3 cancel out. Okay, so I've got one more question. square root of 16 is 4 and we can break uh, the square root of 20 into square root of 5 and square root of 4 and so that becomes uh, four, 4 times we'll just leave it at 16 um, and then the next working would be your 4, the square root of 4, which we know to be 2. So that 2 will be multiplied with the 6, leaving 5 on its own inside the square root, and 16 as the denominator. And it's just a simple calculation of simplifying over 16, square root 5, leaving that to be da, da, da. Yep. three oh. sorry I'm running out of room and that's an eight down the bottom so it's really handy to know your square numbers from one to ten and it's really helpful if you can work backwards as well because these are perfect square numbers so they help in the big scheme of things. Thank you very much, and that's simplifying square roots.